Argentina's big footballing day. It doesn't get any bigger than Boca Juniors against River Plate, the Super Clasico as it's referred to. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from La Liga Profesional de Football. It's Boca Juniors taking on River Plate. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. How about the cross? And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, good effect of pressure. Can they forge ahead? Oh, it's in! The opening goal of the derby, and listen to what it means. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now well he's got past his man well this looks really productive what can they do from this position and credit is due for that good piece of defending plenty of support here Diaz and he's in must be absolutely spot on with that challenge Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And a substitution in the offing. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Fonseca. Enzo Diaz and he takes it away it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Zeballos a running room in the wide position oh a vital interception Ezekiel Barco and he read it well intercepting it and it's with Fernandez onto Rojo Fernandez element of risk there but he's won the ball 
Fernandez. That's a good pass. And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Merentiel. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. Benedetto. Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. Zenon. And intercepts again. Veering in field here, cutting it back, and choosing finesse, he might be wishing he hadn't. Well, it's good vision, but not the skill to match, I'm afraid. Not showing good defensive judgment. The defenders, though, you can't really allow space like that. And offside, unfortunately. And pressing from the front. And a tidy tackle. Well, that's eye-catching wide play. Deciding to go inside. An awful lot of green space to run into. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? An effective challenge. Oh, great play. Oh, great block. A chance now with the corner. Over it comes. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Decent looking pass. And just flicked off the defender, so a corner coming up. Trying to deliver it accurately. Pressing like that will help the cause. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Playing it in. Was it a great clearance? Closing down well. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Delivering it. Not all that convincing defensively. And able to close down the shots. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Now, who can he play it to? And a throw in it's going to be. And snuffing out the danger. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, they've lost the ball. Under the full weight of the pressure. Fonseca. Miguel Borja. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. 30 minutes left for play. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. In position. And still an opportunity. And a time for calm on the ball. Fonseca. Regained possession. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Valentini. Well, giving the ball away. Christian Medina perfect challenge Benedetto good idea oh commanding goalkeeping well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise.
And over it comes. Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper's done well to hold on to that. Well, they're on the scent of something positive, but quick thinking defensively. Being pressed and pressed high. An important interception. 15 minutes left for play. Fonseca. Borja. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Still pushing for what could be a winner. High quality defending. Pires. Lovely work to get past his man. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Here's Fernandez. Miguel Angel Merentiel. And a chance to whip it in here. And quick thinking defensively. Level pegging, but can they change that? Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. This could be troublesome. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. In it goes! And it might be the goal that gives them the bragging rights. Huge drama here late on. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal.